Hello guys, DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have Panso1298 with 666 rating versus Antio Emilio Sianco with 316 rating. So this is going to be another high rated DB video, and let's hop right in. We're going to see Antonio win the rock, paper, scissors shoot, and they'll decide to go first 40 versus 40. Gotta love to see it. Opening hands, we have Heavy Burger, Rota, Prosperity, Pankratops, Mad Love. They have Theosis, Imperm, Prep, Rise, and Theosis. Okay, so their hand's not the greatest. At least they're going first. Uh, this hand going second would be very weak. Uh, and then this hand going second, we have Pank. So we can deal with the Arise. They're going to go Normal Rise, Activate Theosis, and then Theosis. Go bring out Unicorn. Unicorn can search for Birth. And then we can get Rise Effect to go Banish. And then that's going to banish Fenrir and make him banish three face down. Yep, banish those three. Uh, that hits Rise, TC Boo, and Ash. Okay, the, the Rise is a good hit. That makes us that way Pink can't search a fire. Uh, they're going to activate Birth, Birth Effect, summon out Fenrir, and then Fenrir Effect to go search. So now Fenrir is going to search. They're going to grab the Scareclaw, Cash Tira, uh, especially with the Prep in hand. That's really good. And then Overlay going to a Rise Heart. Set prep, set imperm, pass, they draw Fenrir. Okay, so they're gonna go special summon ping. And they said, oh my god. <laughs> Activate Rota. Rota, go search out Raisin. And then a Rise Heart effect to attach. They said, okay. So attach Rota. Activate Pot of Prosperity. Go banish six. And then look at the top six. Uh, good thing we didn't draw Magma. And we drew Pink or Tops Fenrir instead. Uh, they just grab stake your soul, right? I'm pretty sure that's what they're supposed to grab. Yeah, they're gonna grab stake your soul. They took a banished extra card. That's crazy. Um, I guess once you see it's vanquished soul, they probably don't have anything good to attach. So it's actually like fair enough. And then yeah, they gotta put everything back to the bottom of the deck. But yeah, stake your soul is like the extender. So I feel like that's kind of like the obvious choice. They're going to go Pink, Pop Arise, Chain Arise to banish itself face down. They didn't have to do that. They could have also just let it get popped. And then they could Scareclaw, Banish Arise, and then Prep Summon Out Arise. It's not the greatest, though. It's the kind of bad, especially against this matchup. Um, so I kind of get why they didn't want to do it. You do have Imperm to get, like, one material under it. Um... But I don't think that's enough. I think you can get like two materials, but three materials might be a little bit harder. Prep, summon Fenrir, unless they like start with Stake Your Soul. But yeah, they're going to bring out Fenrir, and then they're going to special summon Fenrir. Okay, I said Fenrir, pink, so lucky. Oh my gosh, they're so salty. Attack, Fenrir effect, banish their Fenrir. And then they're realizing they're using the effect, so they're going to imperm that. And then on resolution, Fenrir, banish their Fenrir. And then main phase two. But at least our Fenrir baited Fenrir plus imperm, so that's not bad. Normal summon raisin effect. And then it's going to go grab Caesar. Activate stake your soul. Reveal Caesar to go summon. That's going to bring out Panthera. Uh, Panthera can pop birth. That's really big. Uh, yeah, they're reading it, then they're going Heavy Burger Effect, Bounce Back, Special Summon Out Heavy Burger. And then, they're going to go Panthera Effect, Reveal Fire, Earth, to pop the birth. Okay, and then we're going to go Heavy Burger, Reveal 2, Burn. Okay, yeah, we can't, we can't draw because Prosperity, so we just burn for 750. Not the greatest, I mean 750 is not bad though, it may as well. Caesar bounce back special summon Caesar effect reveal all three in hand the pop and then we're gonna pop the Fenrir Okay, the prep does have unicorn plus rise heart We're gonna link summon vanquisher vanquisher effect special summon out dr. Mad love dr. Mad love effect to go search that I can grab the book of moon the dust devil set dust devil and then they said oh Yeah, they're salty <laughs> They are mega salty Past or Harpy Southern Duster. There's no way you're main decking this. <laughs> okay. Um, they're going to go activate MST on the back row. And then in response, chain rock effect. 
uh, to add back the heavy burger to hand and then the dust devil goes said now show me your hand I know all the cards you add them no I'm not showing you the cards uh, I mean like against a normal opponent on DB sure why not but like yeah bro you're just being weird the whole game so I would just be like nope and if you want to look at them on logs that's fine but don't slow play you have three check log oh my god what's your problem I know the cards calls judge Call judge on what? What that you don't want to read the logs? Is that what you're calling judge for? That your opponent's not showing you their private information? That's just weird. Show the monsters only burgers public. I mean, like technically none of them are. If they were just to ask, like you know, what'd you add back with Vanquisher? It's that because like anything in hand isn't public knowledge, but anything that was added that turn. If they ask about, you have to tell them about. I'm pretty sure that's what the new rule is. I don't know. Usually, I just tell my opponents anyways. Because, like, it really doesn't matter. But some sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. So, you have a heart and fire. Let's play. After I tell to the judge that you are sharking. How? What? Like, what? They didn't even bring up a ruling. Prep effect. Summon out the rise heart. From the banished pile. And then unsummon, activate heavy burger, bounce, special, heavy burger, reveal, draw. The draws in the Pluton HG. Um, I mean, it's really just a fire for you to be able to search off raisin. Then they're going to go Caesar effect, reveal, pop the rise heart. That's kind of risky, right? Because we don't. We don't have any more interruptions, right? We went through that. We went through that. We went through this. Yeah, we don't have any more interruptions. So that was kind of risky. They're going to summon Scareclaw, activate Theosis. They're going to summon Rise from the deck. Uh, could have just gone for Unicorn. Now they're going to go Rise. Because, like, now... What do you grab exactly? You're going to grab Ogre off the Fenrir and then Normal it. They banish Caesar, Raisin, Curry Cara there. Uh, they're going to go Theosis effect, add back birth, activate birth, birth effect, special, bring out Fenrir, and then they're going to go Fenrir effect. And then that's going to grab Unicorn, normal summon out Unicorn. I'm surprised they didn't just birth summon unicorn oh that doesn't work never mind as i realized i forgot we used theosis already yep 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 yep, yep. you have to go fenrir unicorn unicorn effect go search follow-up grab birth and then we're gonna go fenrir attack and we're going to realize that you cannot do that you have to attack the largest attack monster yep so they're going to attack the largest attack monster effect to banish that face down you again can now only attack the largest attack monster. <laughs> they said, Ma, read. Yup, Scare Claw, attack, and then they're gonna activate this. And this is during the opponent's turn, if you have no monsters, or if you only have Vanquished Soul monsters in your main monster, and you special on this card from your hand. But this card doesn't do anything. I guess, I guess here it does in this spot, because it's gonna make it gain 3,000 defense. So, like, that's kind of cool. They can't beat over the board now because you have, like, the 3,000 defense. So, wait. I'm confused. Why did that go? Oh, can only target monsters with the highest attack. Does this one? Okay. That, that's a little bit worse than what I thought it was going to be. Because, like, instead of keeping all of our monsters, now we're just keeping this monster. And it's like, why did we even summon that when we did? Not sure. But they're going to rip the rock, beat over. Yeah, they're probably going to try to rip the third one of this with the unicorn next turn if they can. Just because it's really good. And then they're going to go in the Draco sack. Um, also, couldn't we have just beat over this? Or am I wrong? Or wait, did we even have another attack? We did, right? Or did we? No, I think we used all of our attacks. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, I will. Oh, I wish we'd go back. Um, I mean, the rise 
had to have been in defense because Theosis, unfortunate. I was going to say, if you attack, because the Scareclaw will negate it. They're going to Draco Sack, bring out tokens, effect, tribute, pop. They have to detach to bring out tokens, by the way. They just forgot to do that. Go in the Shang, pass, they draw TC Boo. And then they're going to go standby phase, Shang effect. Shang bring out Fenrir. Okay. I don't even see the point of going for Shang. Like, it don't we just have Fenrir Unicorn on our field if we don't summon Shang? I guess Shang is like a little bit hard to out, which is cool. But I feel like you want Unicorn. You can rip the last rock. I guess, you because know, they have prep. They have prep. They still have the Unicorn banish, so they're going to summon it here, I think. No. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, they have to be summoning it here, then. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. And then they said, go, think, and a two or four cards, right? Okay, so they're going to start with Activate Panthera, Special Summon, Unicorn Effect, Rip Rock, and then they're going to go ahead, Normal Summon, they said, I know Burger. They didn't, they didn't even know Burger. Normal Summon, Dr. Mad Love. And then, no effect, overlay into Exceton Knight. Yeah. It was probably worth Fenrir just banishing a level 4. Because it didn't even have to be Exceton Knight. I mean, Babuska wouldn't get you there. Because they could make Fur higher. Yeah, I think you just had the Fenrir banish. We also forgot Shane Lock. Which is huge against this matchup. Because you can like, I don't know, lock this zone. And now they can't pop your unicorn prep. Now they're going to go into Zeus. Zeus effect to wipe. Um, couldn't, couldn't they have just used Evil Swarm Exceton Knight to wipe? I guess it doesn't wipe the Shang though. Which is awkward. So then you have to Zeus wipe the Shang anyways. Like, after they bring out Fenrir from deck. Because they've gone through most of their engine. But set TC Boo, pass, they draw Talons, activate Birth, moves it a little bit of, away from the possible Imperm column, bring out Fenrir, Fenrir effect, go search, and then Fenrir, grab out Kashtira Ogre. They still have Big Bang. They're going to normal summon out Ogre, battle phase, Fenrir, attack, they said sec, start a battle phase, TC Boo. They probably would have flipped TC Boo, like, maybe on the search, on the summon. It seemed like they kind of went fast. They said, oh, TC Boo top deck crazy. Yes, yeah, so they're going to send Ogre, attack Zeus, and then effect, banish the Zeus face down, redeclare, and then pass, draw pressured planet. Okay. Uh, that's good. Activate Pressure Planet. Grab Fenrir. And then Special Summon Fenrir. Yeah, this person's so salty. It's insane. Fenrir attack. And then... They're just gonna beat over. Really? You just beat over? You don't even go Fenrir effect? Banish your Fenrir face down? Attack? Like, just get more damage in? Because when are you going to get the opportunity to banish Birth this turn? If you get Hand Trap specifically? I guess, like, if you can combo and just out Birth anyways. No, I don't know. It's kind of dumb. Uh, I guess if you can combo and out Birth anyways, then it's okay. Because then if we get Hand Trapped, we can Fenrir out Birth. So it's like, worst case scenario, we get hand trap, we don't combo, we don't outbirth that way, but we can Fenrir out it then, because we didn't Fenrir out their Fenrir earlier. I guess, but I was going to say, can we even outbirth? Okay, this just doesn't count, because you just Fenrir banish their Fenrir anyways, if this was the case. Effect, pop birth, pass, they draw Ash Blossom, pass, draw Heavy Burger. I'm not lucky like you. This person, it just won't stop. This I don't even think they've, I, don't, I was going to say, I don't even think they've talked besides gameplay. They just keep going. Pass, draw thrust. Pass, draw curry Kara, attack for 19. I mean, to be fair, your deck isn't built to top deck with your non-engine. You play talents and thrust. These are not good top decks in spots where you don't have engine ruling at all. And you don't really even have engine. Like, you have a Fenrir left. 
and then like maybe something else. I don't know. You've gone through two rise, a scare claw. I'd be surprised to see more. They draw paint. What? That's crazy. That's crazy that they actually, they both main decking pink. This person's playing Talons, Thrust, Pink, Harpy's Feather Duster. They're gonna go Special Pink, Normal Summon Out, Ash Blossom. Turn those into Baron. Baron, Pop Nightmare Phoenix, go for game. So back to Pokemon Noob. Oh my god, okay. The Cash player didn't even do their zones correctly. They, they didn't do like anything correctly. But on to the next game. We're going to go ahead and we are going to see Vanquish Soul be forced to go first. Wait, no, they chose to go first. Yeah. As I said that, I was like, wait, what? They have Ash, Panthra, Heavy Burger, Anti Spell, Ash Blossom. They have Ash, Shifter, Talons, Pressured Planet, and Fenrir. So, I mean, this isn't a great hand. I said, in standby. Okay, drop shifter, main phase, activate panthera, special summon out, activate heavy burger, bounce back panthera, special summon out, normal summon ash blossom, go in the baron, set anti spell, pass, they draw harpy's feather duster, flip anti spell, and that shuts off most of their hand. Oh my gosh. There's just no way they're saying they're playing cash. You dropped shifter. Like, what? You're playing the NPC deck. Special out, Fenrir, pass. What? Why would you special Fenrir in defense and pass? This doesn't make sense to me at all. But okay, yeah. I guess it's fine to commit a card just to lose out. Like, instead of losing 3,000 life points... Let's lose a card. Sure. It's crazy. Baron, pop the field spell. Because, like, obviously it's pressured planet, which is engine. So we're going to out that. And then we're going to set prosperity. Pass. They draw prosperity. You know, if they have prosperity set, we have anti. I mean, we have ash for it. But they're going to flip Harpy's Feather Duster. And then. Let's see. Is it worth responding? It's, like, kind of tough if you want to respond or not here. They do respawn, they Baron Negate, they have Ash Blossom, they're gonna go Talents Take, and then they can go Baron Pop Anti-Spell if they'd like, and then they can go activate Pot of Prosperity, and then go ahead and Prosp, and then that's for 6, Chain Ash, okay, yeah, they're trying to hit Birth there, uh, we see Titanic Moth, that's a Pilot for Zeus, and then Attack, okay, uh, he said no skill, anti-spell, ash on top. They didn't even top deck like ash, they top deck like prosperity. They drew judgment, okay, that's game. Guaranteed game. Activate pot of prosperity, they chain ash blossom on that, they didn't even banish six yet. Okay. Thinking the ash, okay. Um, they already went through this negate, so I don't know why they are thinking on ash. So, attack with Baron, set Judgment, pass, draw Pressured Planet, activate it, just Judgment that, and then pass, draw TC Boo, um, they're gonna go Normal Summon Out, Panthera, and then Battle Phase, attack, attack, or also, couldn't we have summoned Panthera the turn before, and we could have also gone, uh, make the Link 1, and then we could have gone Link 1 effect, to add back Panthera in main phase 2. So we have like the same follow up. And everything. Yeah. Maybe we just did that one turn before. And we would have had game. Because we had judgment to negate whatever they top decked. So now we put ourselves in an awkward position. Where they get another top deck. But thankfully it's not a good top deck. So. They're going to go ahead and admit defeat. Moving on into game 3. We are going to now see cash tier go first we got pluton pressured planet continue heavy burger panthera they have thrust shifter book of moon theosis and cash tier ogre so they're gonna go ahead special summon out ogre ogre effect go search and then that's gonna search out cash tier prep activate shifter activate theosis and then theosis summon unicorn unicorn effect go search and then that's just going to grab them birth. Okay. Yeah, it's just deciding to go for this. 
They could have also brought out Fenrir, Fenrir, grab Rise Heart, Summon Rise Heart by Banishing. They could go into a Shang, leave a Fenrir on field, overlay, and then on their turn, the opponent's turn, they could like Shang go ahead and summon from the deck. They have prep live. But instead they decided to go for this. So pass, draw evenly, and then Ha, ah, they called it. They said evenly. They're going to go ahead and use Shang. Summon out Fenrir. Battle phase. Ha, huh. okay. First of all, they're bad for two reasons. First of all, they flip Book of Moon on accident. I get it, accident. Second of all, they're flipping prep here, which I guess is to scare the opponent into not using evenly in case that they don't evenly because you are bad. <laughs> but yeah, activate evenly. Now, nah, nice. Your prep does nothing. So go ahead, banish. And then activate pressured planet. Uh, pressured planet goes search. Yeah, they're gonna go grab Fenrir. And then special summon Fenrir. Effect. Okay, go ahead, grab out Cash Tier Rise Heart. Anything on res? Nope. Activate Rise Heart effect. Special summon out. And then Rise Heart, go banish. Fenrir. They banish three face down. Hey, they hit Unicorn there. That is actually a crazy hit crazy crazy hit now they're gonna go fenrir banish fenrir face down normal summon out panthera activate heavy burger so we're gonna bounce back panthera special summon out heavy burger heavy burger effect to burn the opponent for 15 here uh we have rank 7 set up we know that we play shang we saw it banished off prosperity one of the games and we have pressured planet up but i guess it also just makes more sense to go for big eye Big guy take Fenrir. Set continue. But does it? I mean, I guess like Shang. You just go Shang pass. And then you go like standby phase. Shang summon Fenrir. And then they go Fenrir. Banish your Fenrir. And you go pressured planet. Pop their Fenrir. So it's like you just end more with this. So it makes sense. Yeah. You don't have the Shang on board. But you have the big guy instead. It's whatever. Activate birth. And then birth effect the special. So, Birth, bring out the Kashtira Ogre over the Kashtira Unicorn, but it's because our opponent has Fenrir on field with Pressured Planet, because Pressured Planet is broken when you're playing against Cash cards. So, they're going to beat over Fenrir, Normal Summon Ash Blossom, turn this into a Baron, and then go Baron, pop Big Eye, pass, draw Stake Your Soul. Okay, now they have... A lot of engine so they're gonna go ahead activate continue and then that'll special summon out heavy burger and they said you're taking a while I actually wonder how long they took so 52 okay yeah they definitely took a little while I mean they took a minute yeah it's like definitely a little while go ahead summon out burger and then activate burger effect you know reveal go ahead burn for 15 so now they're down to 5,000. Adds up over time, especially in a grind game like this. Go for Vanquisher, Vanquisher effect. And then, okay, they're going to go ahead and add back the Heavy Burger. Maybe it's because they want to use Stake Your Soul to summon out the dark. They're going to Baron Negate Panthera. Because that's the out to birth. And then this is the top deck that's going to hurt them so much. Activate, Reveal. And then, oh, I guess you were just never revealing that for Dr. Madlove, right? When you haven't gone through Soul Reason yet. So you just go for Soul Reason. Soul Reason effect goes search. They said lol, outplayed evenly. And I think you lost. What? It's not even like, I mean, I don't know. If they're saying like evenly is an auto win card. Then like, why isn't it in their deck list? You know? But show, bro, what? What are you doing? Thinking? What do you mean show? It doesn't show. It searches. Search out Caesar. Activate the effect, reveal, and then they're going to go ahead and pop the Baron. Okay. And then, Raisin does not destroy himself. That's not true. It literally says destroy all other monsters in this card's column. Like, what? Then, Heavy Burger, bounce back, special summon, attack for 25. Oh, I guess it's more, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 26 and 100. Okay. Um, so they're going to pass with this. They draw called by the grave. 
I wonder if there was a way to do that better. I feel like there had to have been. There had to have been, right? There's a, was there there wasn't a way to get Caesar alive, which would have been nice to pop birth. Um I can't think of a way. Pluton's level six, not even seven. They're gonna go birth, summon Fenrir, and then on summon, rock effect to summon, chain called by on Panther, and they said, okay, because it's funny, because they said, activate rock to summon, and they said two, and they said on the target, called by, but this card doesn't target, even for its graveyard add back to hand effect, and its special summon effect is also not from the graveyard, it's from the hand. I mean, yeah, they're going to let them take it back, but they did activate called by, 100%. They're going to let them take it back, though. And then Summon Raisin, Effect. Um, they're going to grab Heavy Burger. Because they could have Fenrir all already. But either way, like the deck dodges it. So you can't target something like Raisin. Yeah, you can target Vanquisher, but you can't target Raisin. But if you... I was going to say... Okay, so they're going to target the Link. Chain Raisin, Pop Fenrir. And then the Rock gets Banished face down. Then they're going to activate Thrust. Thrust, grab Talons, they said on res, activate Heavy Burger, bounce back, special summon out, and then Caesar effect, bounce back, special summon out, and then Heavy Burger, do we draw into it? Do we draw into the Earth? Uh, no, nah, we draw Prosperity, unfortunate. Activate Talons, Talons to draw, that draws Book of Moon, Scare Claw, Cash Tira. And then they're going to summon out Scare Call Cash Tira, Banish Ogre, Attack Over the Heavy Burger, Set Book, Set Called By, and then End Phase, Activate Pluton Effect to Special Summon Out. Okay. And then Pass, Draw Dust Devil, Normal Summon Raisin, Raisin Effect to go search, Grab Caesar, and then we have Raisin Effect to pop. We're going to go Pluton Effect, make it gain 3000 attack. By revealing the dark and the earth. Caesar, attack over Scareclaw. Uh, Pluton, attack for game. They're going to Book of Moon. And then they're going to attack. Um. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I guess it was just a little bit weird. Because you had to choose between, like, do you want to have Pluton have attack? Or Raisin Pop? But they're going to go Prosperity. So, oh my god, top on top deck you are incredible to be fair this was drawn last turn it wasn't even the top deck um but they're gonna go ahead they're gonna grab the stake your soul and then put the rest of the cards back that's just gotta be game um we already went through panther which kind of sucks here but activate summon out dr mad love dr mad love effect oh oh i guess we already went through continue yeah um, most people, especially when you know you're going second, you cut continue down to one. You play like one continue, one dust devil. I've even, I haven't, I've seen a lot of lists play two continue, one dust devil, but I don't know. Um, you don't really need two of this card, but they're going to called by the heavy burger here in response to the hand effect. Overlay into tornado dragon to pop the birth. Wow. That sucks for you. So we have an MST plus a Book of Moon. They're going to start talking crazy here. They're going to go Normal Summon Out, Rise Heart. And then on Summon, we're just going to book it. My top deck on Summon, they had Evenly, Anti-Spell plus Judgment. Cool. Um. Okay, fair enough. Seeing how long the match was is about an hour and ten minutes long. To be fair, you can say this. But you could have drawn evenly, you could have drawn stuff like that, but instead you built your deck differently. Like the called by, this, you know, you sided this in going first. Maybe instead of called by, you side an anti-spell, or you side in judgment, and then you don't lose to the evenly, right? Like, I don't know, instead of complaining about it non-stop, just be like, oh man, like... Maybe if all my opponents are playing these cards that I think are broken, maybe my deck should play these cards that I think are broken. I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe that, that that's a way to think about it. I mean, obviously you can't play like Skill Drain and stuff like, like in this deck, but like you couldn't like an Eldritch deck. But I don't know, like 
Oh, this person just complained the entire match. It was an hour and ten minutes long. It was literally from start to finish. It was insane. And this person didn't say anything besides, like, ease. And when they were ahead at the very beginning of this game three, they told them to shut up. But with all that being said, the DB Grinders signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.